Hi, I'm Mike Kiley. I'm with Dennis and Yachting, and today we're in Marathon. I'm going to take a walk through a very special Hunter 49. She's a 2007 model. Her name is Valkyrie. So come on, let's go aboard. So she's a perfect boat for here in the Florida Keys or in the Bahamas with her shoal draft of only 5 foot 6 inches. Moving forward, we'll see her amazing sail plan. Starting off with 150% furling Genoa. A furling self-tacking staysail and a vertically battened mainsail, which is also furling. Basically, she's a push-button sailing boat. It's not hard to miss her clean deck plan, with all of the lines cleanly led across the deck to the cockpit. There's easy access through her midship gates and down her wide side decks to a very secure cockpit. Her twin helm layout gives you plenty of room in the cockpit for sailing or entertaining with many guests. The other advantage of twin helms is the easy access to the water. I find the helm seating to be very comfortable as well as the upper companion seat. On the port side is your primary side where you have all of your engine controls, you'll have your wind instruments, you'll have your autopilot, a brand new VHF radio, and of course the bow thruster for easy docking. Centerline is your Raymarine E120 chart plotter. I really like that the cockpit table is composite, so it requires no maintenance. Moving forward, we'll find the deck-mounted winches. You'll notice this great forward visibility in this boat, as well as the balance of the sailing instruments. Let's head down below. Like all hunters, she has a high volume interior with lots of headroom. This three cabin layout has an owner's stateroom forward and two aft cabins port and starboard. Let's start with the L-shaped galley. She's got twin refrigerators underneath a double stainless steel basin sink. A full set of Hunter dinnerware. A microwave convection oven with built-in coffee pot. She's got a huge deep freezer, which is directly across from your four burner stove and oven with a stainless steel hood that vents outside. This leads us to our starboard guest cabin. Here we've got full-size bed, washer and dryer, plenty of light and ventilation, a good size cabin. Directly to the port side is your guest cabin as well as day head. The day head has a full-size shower and also acts as the ensuite to the guest cabin. She's got a queen size of Worthship's bunk with plenty of lockers, ventilation and light. The forward salon has plenty of space with bench seating to port and a large settee with seating for six to the starboard. Back in the galley, we've got a very special treat. It's Valkyrie's owner and celebrity chef, Jimmy Nadell from Aspen, Colorado. Hi, I'm Chef Jimmy Nadell. I am the owner of Valkyrie, and I'm gonna demonstrate to you how you can make a fabulous tropical dish with tropical ingredients with just the Valkyrie kitchen. We have a little stove here, a little butane stove. I've got a rice cooker. I don't even need the main stove or oven. So what we're gonna make today is a tropical lobster, papaya, and sweet pea jambalaya. Okay, so I'm gonna start out here. I've got an eighth of a cup of sugar. I'm caramelizing. Right here, high heat. So it gets nice and golden brown, okay? I'm gonna add the peppers. I'm going to add the onions, I'm going to add the lobster, we're going to add one cup of jasmine rice, eight ounces of clam juice, and that's it. I'm going to put it in a rice steamer and we're going to come back and check on it in 20 minutes. Thanks, Chef. We're going to continue our tour until we check back with him soon. Let's move to the nav center. Unlike many boats, this is a very comfortable spot to navigate. The highlights are a Raymarine E80 GPS display, as well as an ICOM VHF radio. You will notice that all the rest of the ship's systems are at your fingertips. Lastly, let's move up to the owner's stateroom. It's got a centerline king with drawers and cupboards and cabinets, along with an ensuite head with 
plenty of storage and ventilation. The centerline aft bulkhead also features a flat screen TV and stereo. The separate stall shower is currently being used for storage. Sweet peas. So we made the rice. All I did was I stirred in a little bit of Cajun seasoning and a little bit of Key West spice. Then when the rice was finished, I stirred in the sweet peas and the papaya. Okay, so what we have here is a one pot, easy to clean, in a rice steamer, lobster, papaya, and sweet pea jambalaya. Very simple, you can put it in this rice steamer while you're sailing and it's ready to go when you get back. Garnish with a little lobster tail. Little Italian parsley. And a beautiful one pot dinner for two key style. Thanks, Chef, for that culinary tip. I'm sure everyone will enjoy it. I know I did. Also included is a AB tender with Honda 20 horsepower engine that was not on board for the day of the filming. If there's any other information you liked or want to get on board, feel free to contact me or click the link below. Have a great day.